3 News Now this week. Good morning, Cerise. I tell you what, the sacrifices that I make for my job. I am here at 120th and Blondo at the Hertz Donut. They just opened up at 5 a.m. this morning and they closed, well, <laughs> never. Now joining me now, we have the actual founder of Hertz Donuts here and talk a little bit about your never close philosophy. So we make donuts 24 hours a day and we're always in the store producing. So we we thought from the very beginning, why close the doors? Why lock the doors? We're always going to be here. And you never know when somebody gets that itch to have a, a sweet treat, whether it's first thing in the morning or late at night. Okay, great. And you guys have how many different varieties of donuts? We have over 70 varieties every single day. Uh, plus we have rotating uh, seasonal varieties as well. Now the good thing is along with the 70 varieties of donuts, they have shakes as well in every single flavor. That's right. So any donut that we ever have in the case, we can turn it into a shake for you. Okay, that's really exciting. Now when we got here today, it was jam pack lines were out the door they said they're probably going to get another rush at about seven o'clock a.m but i have to show you these donuts because they are bigger than your normal donuts and right here we just have a wonderful variety of donuts i'm just going to go ahead and sample one for you this is the chocolate either mint oreo or chocolate chip oreo or something i don't know it's just a delicious donut so Hearst donuts now open here in omaha 120th and blondo UNMC experts say it's time to reassess what Nebraska has been doing the last month to fight the spread of COVID-19, because whatever it is, it's not working. And Douglas County, which had been doing well for a while, has seen numbers jump. In the last three weeks in, for Nebraska and Douglas County, we've seen almost a doubling in the number of cases that are being diagnosed on a daily basis. That statistic is startling when you take into account the cold autumn months ahead and individuals heading back into closed spaces indoors. It could be a, a really scary fall uh, if we allow this to continue to trend the way it's going. And, and right now, to be honest, instead of applying the break, to, to really try and put additional measures on, we're, we're hitting the gas pedal. Um, and that is exactly the wrong action to be taking right now. If we take a look at the data, Nebraska's daily new case rates are nearly back at peak levels from the spring, as are death rates and hospitalizations, which worry Dr. Lowe, Dr. Lawler, and Douglas County Health Director, Dr. Addie Poor. It does concern me very much. I'm, I'm always looking at the hospital data. That's the most worrisome. Douglas County has a hospital occupancy rate of around 80%. And due to economic reasons, hospitals like Nebraska Medicine can't postpone elective surgeries like they did in the beginning of the pandemic, meaning space is limited. We're very close to our highest levels of cases and hospitalizations right now. Um, so I would definitely anticipate that we're going to see our highest levels of cases and hospitalizations in the months to come. The answer as to what needs to happen to get trends back down isn't one fold. Just wearing masks isn't going to fix everything and neither is just avoiding large crowds. It's all of those things together happening simultaneously that's going to help us avoid major effects. To control spread in a community, you don't need to shut down everything and you don't need to have everybody locked up at home. There, there seems to be this view that, uh, you know, we either need to be completely open or completely shut down. And the reality is you can maintain low levels of community transmission if you follow some of those common sense guidelines. As the experts continue to watch the trends, they say action needs to happen at the individual, local and state level to keep those case numbers down. Hopefully, my hope would be that we actually prove every expert wrong and we don't see increases in fraud. Reporting in Omaha, Rudolf Snyder, 3 News Now. Well, a few grocery stores in Omaha are closing shop. Rest Time Farmers Market is shutting down its stores in Lincoln and Omaha starting this week. The stores will stay open for as long as inventory lasts. It's expected to close doors for good on the second week of October. All of the stores in Omaha and Lincoln have already been removed from the company's website. Uh, Standing Bear Lake did not have a trail completely around the lake, and the problem has always been 144th Street. People walking on that shoulder, it wasn't safe. 
The solution to that problem, according to architect Dennis Breyers, was a floating trail. Two years ago, Breyers saw the idea, and after some fundraising, construction began in July. The project cost $987,000, with philanthropic groups in the Papio, Missouri River NRD paying 75% of that ticket. It features two sitting areas where fishing is allowed, a handicap accessible canoe and kayak launch area, and solar lights for those using the lake during evening and early morning hours. Many in the community are already making use of the safe new route around the lake. Out there, where at least it'll give them a place to cut through and go totally around the lake without having to deal with traffic. Breyer says the trail will adjust to rising and falling water levels. Up the floating trail are actually the same components that are used to make docks for marinas. So they're made to be uh, out in the weather, in the environment. And in fact, the decking here is when the company has said that when it gets wet, it actually has even better traction than when it's dry. During the winter months, snow and ice shouldn't be too much of an issue as the material is said to absorb sunlight. Those visiting Standing Bear Lake say the floating trail is a welcomed addition. I love it. Yeah, it, they did a really good job. And uh, I think people are really going to enjoy it. Reporting in Omaha, Jessica Edson, 3 News Now. Stay connected at 3newsnow.com.